Hey guys, Joe from Eastwood. In this video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at how to make automotive lines. Whether it's brake lines, hard fuel lines, or transmission lines. There's a bunch of steps we're gonna show you. How to straighten lines and deburr the lines once cut. How to get a perfect flare on the end of your line. How to form them to the perfect shape. And at the end, for everyone working on brakes, we're gonna show you how Eastwood makes it as easy as possible to bleed brakes. All right, so the first step, no matter what you're working with, we're gonna have to straighten the line. No matter what type of hard line you get when you buy it, it's going to come in a coiled up ball of tubing, which is a pain in the butt to unravel, but Eastwood has invented a tool for this. This is the Eastwood tubing straightener. Really simple to use. Just slips right over the tube, roll it back and forth a few times, and you have a straight tube. It's going to be able to straighten 3 16 and quarter inch tubing, and you could easily jump between the two sizes with the switch right on the top. The body is all metal and it has a nice pistol grip to it as well. Very nice tool to have in the toolbox. Once you have your line straightened, you're going to have to cut it. At Eastwood, we have two types of cutters. One is for off-car and one is for on-car use. This one is the professional tubing cutter. This will cut any type of line between 1 8 and 1 and 1 quarter inch in diameter. Easy to work with when the tubing is off the car. It's oversized, so it's easy to spin around the line. It has a spare cutting wheel on the handle, and it even has a built-in reamer for some light deburring action. The other cutter we offer is the Eastwood Mini Professional Tubing Cutter. This will cut anything from 1 8 to 1 inch in diameter, but the big selling point here is going to be size. If you're working with tubing on the car, you can use this little guy that's designed to fit better into those tighter spaces. Now that brings us to the tubing deburring tool. This tool has an outside and inside deburring tool on either end of it. To use this, all you have to do is put the line in there and twist it to deburr, flip it over, put the cutting edges inside the tube and do the same thing, twist it to deburr and you are all set with a perfect finish. The inside deburring tool slides out and is capable of doing anywhere between 1 8 of an inch to half an inch in diameter. The outside is good for anywhere between 5 30 seconds to 9 16 of an inch. Pretty simple little handy tool that makes this job very quick and easy and I highly recommend it for a perfect finish. Now next up we are going to flare. Now don't forget to slide your flare nut on first of course. I think we've all made that mistake in the past, but once you're over that big hurdle, there are a few tools for this job. Our best seller is going to be the Eastwood Professional Brake Line and Tubing Flaring Tool. This kit is going to be able to make three different flares, single, double, and bubble flare, and it's gonna be able to do that in a lot of different sizes of tubing. 3 16 of an inch, quarter, 5 16 3 8 and 4.75 millimeters. Really easy to use, mounts right into the vise, drop the brake line in, hit it with operation zero, put the end of the line exactly where you need it to be, pick your flare, and just move up the operations. For those who don't know, a single flare is gonna be the most basic flare, looks exactly like what you think. Double is gonna be the industry standard for brake lines, and it's going to flare and then sort of fold in over on itself, and bubble is gonna put a bead shape in the tube, just like a bead roller would, and you're gonna end up with that gland end style flare. If you're working with AN or JIC fittings, we also offer a 37 degree forming die that will work in the same way with this machine. But no matter which die you have, this is going to work in a turret style. So everything you need is right there on the turret. All you have to do is spin it and you'll be at the die that you need. Now the other flaring set that we have is the hydraulic tubing flaring tool set. This works pretty much the same way, just adds more sizes and can do more styles of flare. Namely, this can also do one half of an inch line and adds the sizes 6, 8, and 10 millimeters for the bubble flares. This can also do push connect type flares in one quarter, 5 16, 3 8 and half an inch, as well as GM style fuel line flares in 5 16, 3 8 and one half of an inch. The good thing about this is not only the versatility, but this is also built to a form factor. So you can do all this on the car as well. Last but not least, we have the Eastwood on-car brake line flaring tool for 3 16 inch tubing. Now this is gonna be the smallest form factor that we have and it is designed with size in mind, that is for sure. This will work with 3 16 inch tubing and will create a perfect 45 degree double flare every single time. For on-car work, this is good with the handle or you can remove that for off-car work and you can put this right into the bench vise as well. 
So next up, we're gonna have to work the tubing to fit whatever it is that you're doing. If it's brake lines, we have to go to the booster, ABS actuator, and out to the four discs. If it's transmission lines, we have to go to the radiator and back. Fuel ultimately has to go to the fuel rails, et cetera, et cetera. Obviously though, the routing is gonna be different for whatever it is that you're working on, but you're going to have to bend something. Eastwood offers a few tools for that. If you're off the car, the triple head 180 degree tubing bender is the best bet. This is capable of bending 3 16 quarter 5 16 or 3 8 inch tubing all the way up to 180 degrees as the handles on this thing are able to swing past each other. The handles are nice and long too, so you could get a ton of force going with this, which makes the stainless lines very easy to work with. There's slots for each size of tube and an angle gauge on the side for you to easily reference where you're at exactly as far as angles go. The Eastwood brake forming tool is the choice for smaller lines, like 3 16 and quarter of an inch that are in the tightest of areas. It'll also let you get the tightest bends possible with just the turn of a wrist. Very, very nice tool to have. Now, before we wrap up here, I'm willing to bet that most of you guys using this walkthrough are doing brakes. So the last step is to bleed your brakes. You don't want air in your brake lines, air compresses, brake fluid does not, so the air has to come out. For that job, I use the Eastwood three-piece brake bleeding wrench set. These are pretty handy. They install right to the bleeder valve. You can loosen it with the wrench and there's a one-way check valve in the hose. So once you have this set up, just pump the brakes. No air is gonna flow backwards into your brake system because of that one-way check valve. And that's really it. Tighten the bleeder back up, top off the master cylinder, and you're done. This comes with sizes 8 millimeter, which is 5 16 10 millimeter or 3 8 of an inch, and 11 millimeter or 7 16 of an inch wrenches. Well guys, that is how you do it from start to finish. Pretty simple, of course. We'll have all the links to the products you saw in this video in the description below. If you like what we make, go ahead and click this button to check out our YouTube channel. We post tons of product reviews, guides, how to's, make sure you subscribe, like this video, leave us a comment. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Joe, make sure you keep it right here at Eastwood to do the job right.